My brothers and sisters, welcome back to Be Encouraged. I am so glad that you joined me another week on Be Encouraged. And for some reason this week, I just feel like talking about foundation, rock or sand. I guess the question for us today is what is your foundation build on, your faith build on? Is it rock solid or is it on sand? You see, there's a difference between a rock-solid faith and a sandy one. A rock-solid faith, as the Bible talks about, Jesus talks about in Matthew chapter 7, um, verse 24, 25. He talks about, you know, a, a foundation, a house that is built upon a rock. When the wind and the rain and the storms come, and guess what? They will always come. That foundation remains solid. That house remains unshaken. That faith remains unshaken. Unlike the one built on sand, when the testing, the trials, and the disappointment, and all the different things come, my goodness, everything fall down because the faith is gone through the door. Because things are not going their way, then they forget who God is. God is not good. They can't boast about his goodness because things are not going their way. Mm, There's no blessing, so there's no God. Or what God did yesterday, because it didn't happen today, then what? Something is wrong. And so they become wishy-washy. Faithless. So doubtful. You know, you can doubt, but guess what? Don't live there. That's sand. You can be afraid, but are you going to live there? No, that's building your faith on sand. Things can cause you to be concerned and even to a point of almost worry. But you know, no, I'm not going to stay there. Why? My faith is built upon a rock. When your faith is rock solid, you will look at situations in the world today and know that God doesn't change. You will know that God is still God. You will know that God is still good. (laughs) You will know that God still cares. Why? Because he tells us in his word. In these last days, we are going to see some terrible things happen. We're going to see plagues. We're going to see wars and rumors of war. We're going to see people becoming selfish, don't care about others. Yes, we're going to see a lot of things happening in our world. Hurricanes, yes. We're going to see them. But do we become perturbed and disturbed and question God why? No. We're going to say, God, you know what? I trust you. You're suffering in all your way. And I trust you. And we know that though we see diseases come and plagues come, we are going to still believe in Psalms 91. We're still going to trust God on those words. That no plague will come nigh us. And even if plague come nigh us, we know that God is going to see us through. And we know that his plan and his will for us is suffering. And we do not know what tomorrow holds, but we trust God on that. I like the word. I like the rock solid faith. When it's built on that, we don't worry about tomorrow. In fact, the Bible tells us in John, it says to us, listen, today has enough troubles of his own. Trust God today. Today, trust him. You know, we may have a need, but we're going to trust God. He promised that he's going to supply our needs. You know, sometimes what we think is a need is a want. God says he's going to supply all our needs. My goodness, according to his riches in glory, we know that the Lord owns the entire universe. Everything belongs to him. Every single thing belongs to him. The CEO of the world. Because God, so guess what? He created it, the entire world. Every wisdom, every knowledge that we have, he gave it to us. So he's in control of everything. And we just have to trust him and believe that. And that's what the Lord wants from us today. Rock solid foundation. Rock solid faith to trust them in every single circumstances in our life. We're not going to let the devil have us wishy-washy. 
tossing us to and fro. Today is good, so we are good. Tomorrow is bad, so we are in a, a state of predicament and we are there and we are complaining and we are worrying and fretting. Oh, he loves that. I believe this week that God wants us to really have a solid foundation in him, solid faith in him, solid trust in him, solid confidence in him. The devil hates that. He doesn't like when we are solid because when we are solid, he knows that he can't touch us. And I love how Jesus used the words of God against him. And God expects us to know the word so that we can use it in the circumstances that we face. We don't have to let the enemy have us all over the place. Good today, bad tomorrow. Have faith today, no faith tomorrow. No, we're going to stand in faith, believing God to do for us what he says he will do. To give us strength to navigate this journey. When the wind, the storm, and the rains come in our life, and they will come. They will come because the enemy is always busy looking to derail us. But we are going to stand strong. Why? Our foundation is built upon a rock. Not on sand that easily wash away with storms and trials and testing and forget about what God did yesterday because today this didn't happen. Not that kind of faith, not that, not that kind of trust, not that kind of confidence, no sand confidence, but rock confidence in God. And I believe this week, that's what he's asking us to do. So will you? Will you build your faith on the rock and stand firm regardless of what comes your way? That is what God is asking of us to do today and this week. So my friends, stand firm in God. Be confident in his plans for your life, his will for your life, and his purpose for your life. Remember what he says? His plans are never to harm you, but for your future and your hope. Jesus is our hope of glory. I'm excited about what God is doing. I know that he's working. <laughs> I will not listen to what my ears may want to hear, what my eyes see happening all around me. Yes, sometimes how I feel, I'll not be perturbed by that. I'm going to stand up on the rock. Will you? Will you stand on the rock this week? May God bless you. You have a wonderful week. And please do join me next week for a brand new video and be encouraged. God says that when our faith and our trust and our foundation, our house is built upon a rock, it cannot be moved when the storms of life comes, the rain comes, and the wind blows against it. It will still stand firm. God bless you.